What's going on YouTube? It's your boy Don Squally. It's Friday afternoon. Uh, I'm not sure when I'm going to be putting this video out. However, it is Friday. I just got home and received my iSimple Dual Link audio interface for factory radio. There's the part number in the top corner there. I'll be uh, putting it below in the description as well. This is a uh, replacement for the APAC NIS1 unit, which was a few years old. This is apparently a newer model. Um, probably some things that are better about it. But I was looking around uh, Best Buy and online and stuff like that, and Best Buy wanted uh, $250 to put an auxiliary jack in that plugged into the antenna now for those of you who don't know that's kind of like a built-in FM transmitter it's not direct into the radio um, so for 250 bucks I was not too enthusiastic about that so I fished around online um, asked a few people in the forums that I'm on and um, this is what came up man I was gonna do a doubled in but you know what, any videos that I watch are all on my phone. I'm not going to watch a DVD in my car, so I don't really need a screen. Um, all I need is something to connect to my phone and everything's going to happen off of that. GPS, all that good stuff. So this is perfect. I picked this up for 100 bucks on eBay. Um, shipped to my door. It took about a week, which wasn't too bad. I already opened up the box here opening the box what I do best so uh, obviously owner's manual installation instructions um, it comes with a few harnesses this is what's going to connect uh, into the back of your deck as you can see there's male and females that this is going to go in line with that uh, this will put two auxiliary jacks into your car so there's two sets of these cables as you can see there's the auxiliary jack or you can go with the AV um, cables so yeah that's pretty cool if you want to connect like a dvd player or some other like stereo equipment to that um and this is where all the magic happens the iSimple dual link um basically what's going to happen is this is going to sit somewhere inside the dash you're going to have your cables coming out of here into your um into your stereo and then this is going to come out to wherever you want to plug your phone into so um I'm going to install this myself, man. Like, I looked up on the internet, and it's pretty easy to take the uh, Ultima dashes out. So what I'm going to do is just whip through that real quick. Uh, I'm going to crack my first beer, so we're going to see how many beers this job is going to take. I'm hoping it's just going to be a one beer job, but you never know with car things. Something could always come up. So, uh, yeah, man, we're going to get into this right now. Auxiliary install, 0506 Ultima. S E S C R S L fucking S 2.5 3.5 it's gonna work all the same as long as you have a satellite button I have to stress that satellite input you must have so let's get it okay so we're gonna start by removing the stock unit um, you want to get up nice in behind this panel give her a nice tug forward and that'll pop off uh, Two star screwdrivers gonna take this out and then uh, the rest of the radio should come out. Now if you reach behind this your outer bezel should just pop right out straight forward and away we go so perfect look at that alrighty so now what we got is same screwdriver one on either side and then one on the back and this unit's going to come right out so we're going to do that and we'll be back alrighty everything's unscrewed it should just pull out nice and straight I'm going to set mine on the gear shifter and we're going to figure out what needs to go where run my little box uh, where it needs to go and uh, yeah once I figure it's situated I'll let you know what's going on alrighty so basically I just stuck my unit down here let it rest um, just underneath that wiring harness I do have two auxiliary ports I'm not going to use two I'm just going to run uh, the one set um, like 
you'll have an AV and an auxiliary port running off port one and an AV and auxiliary port running off port two. So what I did is I took my AVs from uh, port one and I ran them just down that crack if you can see them into this box so if I ever want to connect something to AV they'll be right there um, my iPod I ran just down this crack if you can see it I'm not sure uh, to come out by my feet here and that will uh, reach pretty much anywhere in the car that I need it so uh, I guess I'll show you how to do the install on the back of the stereo alrighty guys so hopefully you can see this I'm having a hell of a time to keep from sliding back on the leather seat so what you're gonna do is disconnect this big one right here and then this one up in this top hand corner now what they want you to do is plug in the ones from the harness in first for whatever reason so go ahead and do that bing bang boom and then you're gonna connect these into your harnesses that connect to your unit That and that. Oops. Yeah, it's doing something. Once I plug that in, it's doing something now. So, anyways, that's what everything will look like. Kind of a mess now with all those wires. Uh, so this says to turn key to accessory do not touch anything for three minutes press band sat radio auxiliary until radio displays xm sat or sirius then immediately tune and try to find ipod auxiliary if i can can i don't think it'll connect right to my ipod because it's just an auxiliary port so i'll have to go off the auxiliary but uh that's what i'm gonna do and then i'll let you guys know if it works man Don Squally, pray for me. Alrighty guys, so dashboard's installed. Um, as you can see, we're on CD right now. I don't know if you can, the sun's kind of bright. We press satellite, it says XM. Uh, I believe this is the button. I was kind of, it's kind of tricky to change the settings from auxiliary one to two, but I'm pretty sure you use this and then the tune button. But it's one of these buttons. I don't know. I figured it out somehow. But uh, basically, yeah, we're live. So what I'll do is I'll play uh, play a little video off my YouTube just so you guys can get some sound and stuff and get an idea. Uh, it sounds really good, man. Like, I'm impressed. Uh, if you guys haven't checked my YouTube, man, that's the coverage of the CSCS event that I was at. Uh, Oh, uh, Instagram, what? Uh, yeah, check it out, man. YouTube.com backslash Nelly. But, uh, yeah, it sounds good. Um, everything sounds clean, man. No static whatsoever. Um, as you can see, we're just, just under a half a beer, man. So that's fucking quick. Like, uh, about a half an hour, I ran into a snag. Uh, the problem that I had was this, this wire... Uh, didn't fit into my big jalopy fucking case here, so I just had to trim a little bit of the rubber off so it fit in, but that was no problem. So yeah, um, all in all, I'd say it's a friggin' nice and easy mod, man, for a hundred bucks. Do, you do it yourself, half an hour. It is doable, man. If you're, if you're worried about taking your car apart, all you need is a friggin' screwdriver. I didn't even need this big tool kit. I thought I was gonna need it, I brought the whole, you just need a screwdriver, man, that's it. It's real simple. Um, yeah, man, now I can bump that new Stitches mixtape, man. I uh, better have my money when I come to collect. Pay up, pay up, pay up. <laughs> so, yeah, man, it's a good move for sure. Anybody who's looking to get the uh, auxiliary port in their car, I would definitely go for that. I don't have the box here. I'd give you another look at it. But, uh, yeah, Don Squally signing off. I hope you guys find this useful. Like, comment, subscribe. I do all kinds of car related videos, ATV related videos, install videos when I can, you know what I mean? So, uh, holler at your boy, man. Much respect and keep watching, y'all.